This is Nathan Tabor with Handling Life. I want to talk with you today about telling your story. So a couple of Wednesday nights ago, we were in a youth group and the youth pastor at the church was talking about, you know, what is your story? What would you tell others if someone came up to you and said, hey, what's your story? What would be your story? What would you tell them? What would you lead out with? What would you say? See, a lot of times we immediately would go into what our, our work was or what our personal life or, which is good. There's nothing wrong with that at all. But can you tell your story about how you came to Jesus? Can you tell your story about something that God has done for you? See, in our mindset, in a lot of the ways that we were raised in church or what we hear is, if you're going to go to someone and you're going to share the gospel with them, well, you need to take your Bible with you and you need to sit down in Romans or you need to sit down at John 3.16 and you need to tell someone what a sinner they are, how bad their choices are. Basically, you're backing them into a corner. You're making them defend their actions. And when you look at the life of Christ, he, he did that sometimes with Pharisees and really, you know, kind of pious, righteous people. Um, but with just the, the sinners, the every common day, the, the, the me and probably the you of the world, he didn't go up to the woman at the well and start telling her how horrible she was and, you know, what a whore she was. And he, he just started talking to her. He started sharing a story. He started talking about life. And as I was thinking about doing this piece, I, I ran across a, um, a story, and I'm sure if you Google it, you can find the, the whole outlay of it, but of uh, Maya Angelou. Um, she writes this story about when she was 16 years old, she got pregnant. And she was really obviously scared. She wasn't married. Uh, she didn't love the boy. Um, she hadn't told her mom. She hides it. She conceals it. Three weeks before uh, the baby's due, she finally tells her mom. Her mom's really accepting, which she didn't see that coming. Um, she moves out on her own because she wants to be her own woman. She talks about all the struggles, all the things that she go, you know, has going on in her life, how they struggled to make this, how they struggled to make that. Um, she just talks about the job she's had. Um, that how she was mouth to mouth. She talks about all these things. So from beginning to the very end of the story, she talks about all the things she went through, all the struggles, all the kindness, all the everything, everything that she experienced. And at the end, she says, years later when she was married, I wanted to have more children, but I couldn't conceive. And isn't it wonderful that I had a child at 16? Praise God. See, she told her story. She told everything about her, all the, the, the bad choice, the good choice. She talked about all the struggles she went through. And at the end, she talked about who she wanted to praise. And see, that's where we need to be in our lives. We need to be sharing with people through our words and through our actions what God has done for us, what Jesus Christ has done for us. We need to be focused in on the type of person we are and what we're showing others so that they can see, hey, there's a better life in Jesus Christ. There's a something that that person has that I don't. And if you find yourself all the time, you know, running in and telling a person or telling a group of people around you, your friends or your family, how despicable they are and how horrible they are and how, you know, and you're not getting anywhere with them, because there might be a time and a place to go in and, and really lay down the law, right? Really lay it on thick and you're not right and you're not living right and your choices are... That might be, but if you've done that time and time again, weeks, months, years, and there's this wall, you can't even get over it or around it. You can't dig under it because it's so tall and ingrained and, and strong. Then back up. Try love. Try compassion. 
Try telling your story. Instead of making it about them, make it about you and what Jesus has done for you. Try it. See what happens when you take the focus off of a person and you don't back them into a corner and make them explain. Have you, have you been there before? I have, where I knew what I was doing was wrong. Maybe it wasn't at the level that everyone else thought it was, but a person came to me and they said, Nathan Tabor, let me tell you how wrong you are in the, what you're doing here and what you're saying here. You're 100% wrong. What did I do? Did I respond and say, oh, you're right. Let me immediately make it right. Let me, no. I doubled down. I tripled down. And I said, let me tell you how right I am. I defended. My pride kicked in. My humility did not. And when that pride kicks in and you're telling someone what you're doing is a sin and it's leading you right to hell, most likely their pride's going to kick in and you don't get anywhere with them. So, Look at sharing your story. Look at through your expressions, through your thoughts, through your actions, through how you treat them, everything about it. Let it be about you and what God has done for you. And see how they respond to that. It'll take time. See, your responsibility and my responsibility is not to win people to the Lord. I can't save a soul and you can't save a soul. Our responsibility is to plant seeds. Our responsibility is to lay that down and then let the Holy Spirit do His work. And when we get in the way of doing the Holy Spirit's work, the Holy Spirit can't do His work. I'm Nathan Tabor with Handling Life. You can learn more about this ministry at handlinglife.org. And on that website, you'll find a ton of information, uh, 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 e-books on uh, Modern Day Jonah, a Work-Life Balance, uh, you'll find podcasts and videos. You can sign up for some emails, uh, and everything's free there. There's no cost to any of the materials. Uh, my goal here is to help people see you know, my story, read about it, see what I've been through, but also to see how God's Word can apply to their life and how they can use God's Word when they find themselves in a situation, they find themselves in a problem, what solution can they find from God's Word and how can they apply it to their life? So you can learn more about that at handlinglife.org.